Hey everybody! So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Orioling Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for our Divine Feminines, alright? So all of our DF, Empress, High Priestess, Energy only. If you in any way at all identify as a Divine Masculine, Hanty, you can go ahead and get that. Because this reading right now is not for you. Not for you. Not for you. Not for Two. All right, let us go ahead, y'all, and jump into it because ain't nothing to it but to do it. Let us see what the messages are that Spirit has here for Joe. All right, we have tested, tested, flew out the deck. Okay, confusion. Okay, I'm also feeling this one, union. Sheesh. Tested confusion union. Some energy there, boy. All right, let us see. <clears throat> Connection. What is this? Cherish. Underline the energy is challenges, and it's something else here that really wants to be seen because I can feel it. Moment. Okay. Moment and receptive. Okay. I'm getting, before I forget, someone may only have a moment, so will you be receptive, okay? Cherish here. Someone feels like they want to cherish the connection that they have with you, cherish the bond, okay? Maybe they feel they have not been doing this as of yet or as of right now. You know, they feel like they have not been cherishing the connection or you properly, okay? At times, this person feels like they are being tested. Now, whether this be tested by you or life is testing them, they are feeling like they're always dealing with some sort of test, okay? And they're always left in some sort of seven of cups confusion type of energy. <clears throat> Where they're seeking clarity, seeking answers, understanding. It's just too much, right? So this person wants to clear some things up so i feel like they want to talk to you they want to have a moment where you really understand what it is that they feel they understand what it is that you feel and then you can move forward okay so it says your strengths and weaknesses are being tested all secrets of truth experience confusion ask the divine to provide the answers you need yeah because this person really wants to come into union with you they feel super connected to you but if i still feel confused about some things if I feel like this person is intentionally doing this or intentionally doing that, because remember, twins trigger each other, right? So right now, you could be uh, triggering your twin, and it's making them say, oh, well, this person must be purposefully trying to tick me off, or they're doing this and that and the other on purpose, you know? And you're like, mm, not really. So spirit wants them to see, you know, you guys are going to have some sort of special moment, and that's when they're going to get the chance to come to you and, okay, work that out. So, really interesting, really interesting stuff, okay? Really interesting stuff. Let's see, let's check the vibe. What's the underlying We We see challenges. So, despite the challenges, all right, you and your person are going to be working through those kinks. I feel like this person wants to show you more appreciation. Like I said, cherishing the relationship. We have good flowers, okay? Oh, excuse me. So it may be literal flowers, but it doesn't have to be. It's just them giving you appreciation, showing you love, you know, making you feel special, letting you know what you mean to them, that type of thing. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sure you feel special on your own. I'm talking about coming from your person. Okay. Let us see. So we have risk it all and cock block. Okay. So this person feels like, well, Cockblock came out first and then risk it all. So this person feels like no matter what the challenges are, no matter what the obstacles are, no matter who or what is attempting to stand in their way, they are willing to take that leap of faith and come towards you. This is the energy that is presenting itself this morning. Okay. So this makes me feel like this person, yeah, is daddy finna pop up on that ass? This person could have been thinking long and hard about you, the type of person you are, the way you carry yourself, all these different things, right? It's really starting to stand out to this person that maybe you're not who they once assumed you were. Again, they could have felt like you were pushing their buttons on purpose or like you were purposefully trying to take them off. Again, I don't know what type of person they're used to dealing with, but 
twins are supposed to trigger each other so that those things come up and you release them or certain things come up and you heal them or whatever the case may be but when this person thinks of you they think of intimate time quality time one-on-one -on -one time okay this person may also sometimes get jealous of who gets to spend that time with you who's around you if anybody's around you because if you're single you're available they're wondering if you're in a relationship you done moved on obviously they're wondering you get what i'm saying so we have in sync here okay <clears throat> now with this in sync in this union card i feel like this goes hand to hand because look at this infinity symbol in order for the twins to reach union they must be in alignment which is being in my opinion in sync you know like fully in sync fully in alignment okay So yeah, let us see, let us see. Someone could have been very immature with how they handled something in the past and they realize this now. They want to come towards you and make this right now. In the past, they could have made excuses for things. They could have said things a certain type of way and all of these different things because they were unsure or unaware of how it was that they really felt, right? So let us see. Interesting. Let us see uh, what comes out. All right, we have broken. Yeah, so... This person could have felt like they were broken, you know? If I feel like I can barely, you know, be enough for myself, how can I be whatever it is that you need me to be? That could have been where this person was coming from, you know? They had to heal themselves. They were going through depression or they could be depressive, okay? But this person feels like you guys would be this power couple. Similar mindsets, the way that you do things, handle business, Etc. 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 Business mindset here. You and this person. Okay. So they're thinking long term. Okay. Regardless of whether it be relationship, which is ideal, what they would want, but this person is overall thinking partnership. Okay. We have knocked up here. Okay. <laughs> the energy I'm getting from it. I was trying to see if I was gonna get something else, but nope. That's just what I'm getting. I'm getting. The moment they can, they will. Because that's how this person feels about you. They want everything that they can possibly have uh, with you. Yeah, so we have mass fish. Maybe they're not telling you that. Maybe this is someone that is typically easily able to detach from situations and people. But when it comes to you, baby, mm -mm, no, we got entanglement. We got baddie. We have a snack. We have glow up. Yeah, we have squad. We have bay. Yeah, when it comes to you, it's totally different. The way this person feels about you, the way this person moves with you, everything about you is just totally different. See, they really have true feelings and they're ready to confess and reveal these true feelings to you. You know what I mean? They feel like they've been hiding it for a really long time, but they refuse to keep doing that. They're like, this is a whole snack right here. You didn't have some sort of <laughs> glow up, you know, or you're glowing up again, you know. You have some sort of continual glow up because your priorities have shifted so you're attracting different things to yourself different family as in soul family okay new boo things or love interests okay and so your person is like wait a minute you got all these options savage mode you must be doing this to to get back at me but again no i'm not seeing that i'm seeing you know some of you felt like you were pressed or like you had to do this and that and you're not doing it <laughs> Why would you be doing that? I had seen somebody comment and was like, um, I'm not pressing a phone call. And I, I couldn't do nothing but laugh. So all I did was was love it and react to it because I would hope that we not out here pressing phone calls. You get what I'm saying? They will call you, as it said, when they ready to call you. You know, that's what she said or he said in the comments. Um, like, you know, I'm not pressing a phone call. Yeah, I wouldn't advise you to press a phone call. I wouldn't advise you to press anything. A phone call, a text message, a visit, a day together, a date, appreciation, nothing. Because there's always going to be somebody that's willing to do it. So why would you be pressing anything? You get what I'm saying? That's number one. Yeah, see, with this glow up energy and baddie, you know that. Exactly. As soon as I was saying what I was saying, when you... <clears throat> understand who you are and the energy that you're in you're not sitting up here pressing anything the only thing you pressing is yourself the only thing you pressing is your clothes the only thing you pressing is your hair the only thing you pressing like what are we talking <laughs> what are we talking about here you shouldn't be pressing that 
you know? So yeah, that's what I'm getting here, okay? That's probably why some of them are salty, because you're not pressing. Uh, maybe they want you to press the issue. No. Okay. That's not how you do that. So maybe that's why they're confused. They keep testing you to see if you're going to do certain things and you're not doing it. So they're like, oh, you must be with some. No. No, feminine is not with nobody else. Feminine is just not playing those games. You get what I'm saying? Like, it comes a certain point in your life where you're just like, all right, um, dot, dot, dot. It doesn't matter the old, you know, the old. It doesn't matter the age, you know what I mean? But in my case, you know. I'm such and such years old. I must be out here doing this, that, and the third. The hell? You get what I'm saying? So we have the moon and we have the ten of cups, all right? So they're deep feelings, true feelings. What are they? They want that ten of cups happily ever after with you. I'm sitting here and trying to see if I can grab anything else from it. But like I said, Zaddy is definitely finna pop up on that ass. I'm getting they want to have adventures. They want to go on adventures with you. Yeah, as soon as I picked it up, new endeavors, okay? So just making new memories, doing new things. Things they've never done before. Things you've never done before. Stepping outside of your comfort zone. They feel like you're that type of energy for them. You're someone that they would take risks and chances with and for. Okay? Yeah, I like that. This may not be someone that typically takes chances and risks, but that would, that's what they want to do with you. Yeah, so we have the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so again, the energy that I'm getting here, and you guys let me know if this is your masculine or not because this is the energy that i'm getting here from this masculine that we talk about this masculine here wants someone to let them know that they want them so like let's say for example the person is trying to test you basically like let me make it seem as if this isn't what i want to see how you handle the situation and if you are just like oh okay whatever then that means that you ain't really want it and you was doing something else. No. Feminine's just not going to chase you. Feminine has put it out there. Look, moment. I feel like there was a special moment or moments that the two of you had, okay, where you spoke some sort of truth or they spoke a truth. There was a conversation because receptive here to girls on the phone. This didn't, ha didn't happen yet. It's going to. Okay, we have connection and cherish. There's a true bond between the two of you. It continues to grow. This is something that they recognize. So they want to put more attention and energy in as opposed to testing it, right? So that, you know, you had the moment. You had the moment. They could have put the, the time in, but instead of doing that and cherishing it, like I said, they chose to test. So take whichever storyline resonates with you. But we have the Nine of Pentacles. So like I said, single, independent, doing your own thing. Judgment is a phone call, like I said, being receptive. If it has not happened, it's going to. Because the Knight of Swords is here. The Knight of Swords is something happening very, very swiftly, very quickly. Somebody coming towards you, Six of Pentacles, and saying, Hey, all the energy and effort and consistency you've been putting into the connection, I want to put that in too. They may not call you and say, Hey, but it may continue to do it over time. You get what I'm saying? Be consistent, all right? Show you that they really want this. What is this? Page of Cups, you know? Because it takes one thing when you're like, oh, I apologize. I'm sorry. But an apology without changed behavior is what? Okay. Just apologizing just to be apologizing. And turn around and do the same thing. What's the point of you apologizing? <laughs> you can keep that apology, right? So we have the High Priestess and we have the Devil. So you intuitively know that this is how someone feels. You know, they know that now they're thinking about it with this judge card. Like, mm, maybe that wasn't the right thing for me to do. Yeah, maybe not. Because they're sitting here with cock block waiting for you to respond or waiting for something. And it's just not working. So now they're like, well, what's going on? You know, put this one and this one together. Okay, so, well, if, if you're not responding, it says zero. Well, what's going on? You must be doing something. No, a lot of you know that the person is doing this to get your attention or whatever. And that's one of the reasons you're not giving it to them because you're not playing these games with them. That's what I'm picking up. All right, so let us continue. Like I said, we got many options here, okay? Free spirit. Some of you are really opening your options up. We have Queen of Wands, okay? If not a fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius, and just very high vibrational, attractive person, very creative okay full of life full of energy and this is why they and many other people feel drawn to you all right this person feels like you are part of the same soul family okay we have nine of wands nine of wands is a barrier or like a you know you putting some sort of um boundary up with this person okay keeping them at a distance like i said seven of cups because of the confusion all right no 
the hermit, this person, they were ghosting or it's something they did in the past. They ghosted or <clears throat> they could feel like you ghosted. It's just too many games, child. The star, divine protection, divine guidance. Yeah, we could be this power couple. I really like you. I want to come into union, but let me test you. Let me see if you really want this too. Let me do like... What is going on? Yeah, we got the Three of Cups. Okay, this is reunion energy, but it could also be third party, Ten of Wands, a burden, hardship, difficulty. Um, the Fool card wanting a burden beginning, but Three of Swords, heartache and pain. So why is heartache and pain here? Again, because they're worried. They did something to test you. And with testing you, it's like they pushed you away or something. I don't know. This is... Mm. Yeah, we got the Tower. Okay, and the Five of Wands. Again, so spirit could have been telling this person for a really long time. Like, look, this way of going about doing it is not it. This is not it. We're going to have to switch it up. I wouldn't advise you to do it this way. And they still went ahead and did it. So <sighs> the world, that's what I'm saying. Some of you are just going to end it and be like, okay, you know, looking to enter into a new soul contract or something, twin or no twin. Yeah, because remember, someone doesn't know. Someone doesn't know that, or maybe they do. Like, that's what I'm saying. They're thinking you're doing something out of spite. Like, you're in savage mode. Because see, four of wands is 11-11, twin flame union energy coming into union. So union is here twice. This person felt like you're doing something to get back at them. But no, you're doing it because you're not doing this. There is something that they're showing you right now that you're just like, it's, it's a game for them, and this is not a game. Yeah, see, we got the King of Wands here, and we have the Queen of Wands. This is a match. All right. But you say what you're not doing is playing no games with this person. That's what you will not be doing. All right. So let us see, y'all. Let's go around this board one more time. Four of Swords, Four of Wands. What will give their heart peace of mind is being with you. Or what will give them peace and what will put their heart at ease is being with you. Okay. The heart peace of mind. But we have six of cups, okay? So past life energy, okay? Reminiscing, thinking back, the devil. But fear keeps them at a standstill. Fear prevents them from making this offer of love or apologizing because this person knows that they did something. But yeah, they refuse. It's like they're being, uh, what do you call it? Stubborn? Because the seven of swords is here, okay? So deception. Again, with the mind games and different things like that. <clears throat> so we have the Queen of Wands. Yeah, the Four of Swords. Your energy is very healing. It's very therapeutic for this King of Pentacles, King of Swords, King of Cups, King of Wands person. They're an emperor. Ask me how I know. They're sticking their head out. This person, they know what they did. Okay. They get it. They know it. You know, and they try to make excuses for it. I see all of those crazy videos out there that are like, um, oh, yeah, this is why men test you. This is why men will do this to test you. Nah, I don't know what type of man that is, but I don't want it. You know, I'm good. All the games and this and that. And I just want to see if you want to know. How about you just be direct? All those games and stuff is very, very unattractive. All right, so... Let us see. Yeah, this nine of wands. This you putting the the boundary up. You putting the wall up with this person. They don't understand. It's like one more thing. You know what I mean? One more thing. One more thing. You know you're gonna put that damn extra wand on. That's it. That is it. Yeah, the judgment card. This is your discernment on the situation. It's too many games. You got the five of cups here. Five of cups is like past. This could be something they did in the past. And now they coming back doing it again, testing you, and you like, uh, no. The high priestess, you know, you already know this person or you know exactly what they're going to do or something like that. It's something like that. Like, you know your masculine. You know what they're going to do. You know what they're doing. It's something like that. All right, we got the Ten of Wands, the Three of Cups, okay? Yeah, the Eight of Swords. So now they're going to be stuck in their darn mind about it. And I feel like if anything, what's burdened the situation or what's burdened you about the situation is the fact that this person, like I said, makes excuses or they made excuses. Ten of Wands and the Three of Cups, they made something harder than it had to be because of not moving their feet. You see, it's all about what they were seeing. 
So it's something here with this hangman about their perception. You know, their point of view. And why spirit has them in this position right now, hangman, so they can see it from your and others' points of views. Right? Because the devil was telling them, oh, this is what it is, this is what it is. Make the apology. Oh, no, I'm not going to make the apology. Uh, make the apology. Like I always tell you guys, the page of cups, right? It's like wishful thinking because look, his feet are right here, but it's his feet moving. It's like he's daydreaming and fantasizing about the day where he could move his feet. Daydreaming and fantasizing about the day where he could take this mask off and he could tell you how he's really felt this entire time. And he's been upset that he's been this, that he's been that, and that, and that. But he's not going to do it because this fear and him being stubborn and it's a mental thing. It's not something that you did. You know what I mean? So yeah, we have the king of cups and we have the... King of Swords, like I said, showing up as every king. I already knew it. But it's somebody who has a lot of love for you. They've already accepted that fact. They've accepted that truth. They just have not shared that truth with you. Okay. So, again, this could be because it's inappropriate. You know, like people are like, oh, you know, I don't have time for these games. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying in the reading. You don't have time for the games. That's exactly what I'm saying. However... Um, you know, there could be a lot of reasons if you just be inappropriate as to why someone is not telling you. Someone could have fallen in love with you and they're not saying it because it's highly inappropriate. We've seen the entanglement card. Who's doing that? All right. So we got the tower, the five of wands and the world card. All right. Yeah. The death and rebirth. All right. Transformation, ego death, spiritual awakening. Okay. Ten of pentacles. And this person, they want to build with you, but they feel like they have to start here page of pentacles you know because whatever they were doing before with that lion and this and that just to try to make things be what they wanted it to be so they would they were manipulative excuse me manipulative <laughs> they were manipulative child okay and because you're not falling for the the hooting and, and, and the shenanigans and the fugazi and the facade and everything else you're not falling for it, you're not believing the smoke and mirrors it's like now they they feel they're being challenged to grow. Yeah, because feminine's not falling for that, okay? Yeah, we got the page of swords, like I said, in the ace of cups. So a lot of you, because of how this person has been moving and acting and all of that, you're open to new soul contracts. Like you're open to new love. And again, this person can think whatever they would like. They could think that you're doing it to be funny. They could think you're doing it to be in savage mode. You're not. You're doing this because you deserve a safe place for your heart. And somebody that's going to play games with your mind because they're not 1,000% sure of. It's not even that they're not sure. It's their insecurities. Because if you said what you said and you stood on it or you stand behind it or you show up as that all the time, there's nothing for them to be confused about. So it's like this person confused themselves by overthinking and making something harder than it had to be. Or this whole reading was you. Flip it as you need to flip it right but yeah three of swords it's like somebody broke their own heart because what they really want is the knight of cups energy you know but the knight of cups again is in and out in and out in and out so if this person is someone that you love but they're in and out in and out in and out and they're not consistent that's not giving you a safe enough space for you to feel your balance or like most balanced or most happy healthy version of self so that's not safe. This is why a lot of you are looking into it like, yeah, okay, twin or no twin. Uh, something else, please. You get what I'm saying? Sheesh. That took many twists and turns, honey. But if this was your reading, yeah, we got the lover. This is definitely your divine counterpart. All right, so if you're wondering, you're like, boo, I hear everything that you're saying. I heard the whole reading. But is that my divine counterpart? It's been confirmed. Quite a few times, actually, that this is your divine counterpart. But Spirit wanted to confirm it again. All right. So if this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and agree.